Hello, everyone. My name is Nun, and today I will present to you our project evaluation of a digit genome test for auditory research and clinical applications. Syntest use sets of digits, most commonly digit triplets, mixed in noise to probe for um, baseline speech recognition in noise. First developed and validated by Smith and colleagues, Syntest have been widely developed across many languages and employed as an accessible and reliable way to test hearing. Here is the recommended development framework for DINTEST uh, adapted from the International Collision of Rehabilitative Audiology. Among the three steps, uh, optimization plays a critical role in ensuring the effectiveness and reliability of DIN outcome. In this project, we would like to develop a DIN test for inclusive and accessible testing for a wide range of subjects, including CI users. We aim to make the test open for other researchers who are interested in using DIN tests for their research and for future clinical application. We further use uh, the developed DIN test to investigate a couple of questions. First, we ask how much optimization would affect the DIN outcome and whether we could omit the step when it was too costly for development. Second, we question whether Lombard effect um, impact the DIN outcome. Lastly, we question whether DIN performance with ECI simulations in typical hearing listeners could predict CI results in DIN, in DIN tests. Then we validate DIN results uh, in CI users. In the current project, we recorded individual digits from a female and a male native British English speaker. Um, we recorded the voice in quiet and in noisy background using speech shape noise to elicit Lombard effect. Um, the single digits were later optimized for equal intelligibility. Next, for each SNR le level, we created a corresponding digit triplet list. Each list consists of 50 unique triplets with no repeated, um, no repetition within each triplet and between two adjacent levels. This was to ensure no immediate repetition of, um, during the test. Then we concatenate the single digits to make the triplets um, according to the list and mix in the noise according to the corresponding SNL level. We make four sets of digit triplets from optimized digits and two extra sets with non-optimized digits. The SNR range cover both typical hearing and CI listeners. Um, for the optimization step, we invited 26 typical hearing listeners and present them with single digits at different SNR levels. The digit-specific SRTs were de derived from average response across uh, subjects um, fitted into a psychometric function. These SRTs were used to equalize intelligibility across digits within each combination of voice and recording conditions. For the evaluation and validation of the DIN test, we employ an adaptive procedure for digits triplet scoring. We also simulated CI listening using a 16-channel spiral vocoder with simulated current thread at minus 16 dB per octave. These procedures were implemented using auditor um, online listening test system uh, developed here at the CVU and JATOS. First, I will present the optimization results. Um, here we see that um, digit-specific SRTs vary across voices and recording conditions However, across participant groups, um, these SRTs appear to related to be relatively similar. Um, using a linear mixed effect model, we found no significant group effect on the SRTs. As we validated the DIN test using an optimized digit set against an optimized one, we found less than one dB differences in triplet scoring SRTs between conditions. In general, for each voice, the optimized digit set yield a lower SRT and a steeper slope, around 1% per dB on average uh, in differences, except for the in-lab results for non-optimized digit set in male voice. 
aside from non-optimized condition in female voice, um, others resulted in a slope within the range of 15 to 20 percent per dB, which is the typical range of slope found in other DIN tests using speech shape noise. Next, we evaluate the DIN test using the optimized digit sets um, of two voice uh, combined with two recording conditions. The DIN test yield an average SRT of minus 11.3 dB, um, measurement error of 0 0.81 dB. The average slope was at 15.3% per dB. These results are in line with the common range of, of um, other DIN tests in the scoping review from Van der Boer and colleagues. Among the four conditions, only the ones with male voice yield a steep, steeper slopes within the common range. We found that long body effect consistently results in lower average SRTs across participants groups and voices. However, the effect size was rather small, uh, less than half a dB. We also it also increased a measurement error and resulted in a shallower slope outside of the common range. This suggested that Lombard effect worsened reliability in DIN test. So in this section, uh, we compared DIN performance of typical hearing listeners with CI simulations to um, one of CI users. We found from the current data that CI simulation in typical hearing listeners consistently yield a lower SRT scores than CI users across speaker voices um, on average of uh, two to four dB differences. CI users results vary more than CI simulation um, results. The data also suggested that there was an interaction between speaker voices and groups of participants. We also validated CI users' performance in DIN tests with optimized and non-optimized digit sets. In the current data, um, the optimized sets slightly improved DIN score by 0 0.1 dB and the slope by 1% per dB on average. These magnitudes of difference were even smaller than the differences in the DIN performance between two speaker voices. To conclude the presentation, um, in this study, we developed a DIN test, um, evaluated and validated across different testing conditions and subjects categories. The developed test was shown to be a reliable measure. Our results show that optimization seemed not to largely affect the um, DIN outcome, and future development of DIN tests could potentially benefit from a simpler procedure of meeting uh, optimization. Lombard effect um, slightly improved SRT score, but worsened test reliability and effectiveness. We are currently collecting more data from CI user to complete our validation. So I would like to thank you, um, say thank you to the Medical Research UK, uh, Council UK for funding this project, to our colleagues um, at the Cambridge Hearing Group and at the CBU, and thank you all for listening.